It's been a tradition for 29 years. The St. Vincent Swim Across the Sound to raise money for cancer patients. But this year, the event takes special meaning for a group of local police officers. News 8's Scott McDonald tells us how they're diving in to help a fellow cop. Here's tonight's Closer Look. The swimmers take their first plunge into the frigid waters at Port Jefferson, Long Island. From there, it's a 15.5 mile swim to the finish. And that happens at Captain's Cove in Bridgeport. Likely going to take over nine hours fighting ocean currents and choppy waters. It's a tough task, but one met with courage and commitment, just like those fighting for their lives against cancer. Stroke after stroke. The mission is clear for a group of Fairfield police officers. We're representing the family of one of our officers who is struggling at this time. Swim the 15.5 miles across the Long Island Sound, all in support of a fellow officer and his wife. The police family helping the family of Sergeant Michael Paris. His wife, just 32 years old, diagnosed with cancer. That news at that young of an age must be difficult to hear. 32, yeah. that's very young. Yeah, young. She, she, would, she was healthy, has no other medical problems. It was just a fluke thing that all of a sudden found something. We acted on it immediately and then um, took the steps and discovered it was cancer. Ultimately, the officers just a few of many swimming for a cause. The St. Vincent Swim Across the Sound raises money for cancer patients, stepping in when insurance falls short or supporting the uninsured. The funds from the marathon will pay for a mortgage payment, possibly a utility payment, a car payment, um, camp for a single mom who might be going under going chemo and radiation. To help cancer patients focus on their recovery through a cancer journey that can be daunting and draining. Much like the swim. But the challenge is one that officers didn't think twice about. And I know that it's not going to be easy, but I know that it doesn't compare to the struggle that Mike and his family are going through, and I'm happy to do it. It's tough. And to think that these guys are doing this in memory and honor of my wife, um, it really touches you. To keep hope, to keep fighting for life. Just gotta keep swimming. Scott McDonald, News 8. And again, the marathon swim is this Saturday. The swim across the sound is in great need, we need to tell you, of 30-foot boats or larger and their captains to help escort the swimmers. If you would like to help out, go to WTNH.com. We have all the details there.